Whether you're a professional bartender or just like to make drinks at home for fun, it's a great idea to have some champagne cocktails in your arsenal. What's better than a splash of bubbles on a cocktail to really mark a special occasion, no matter what you're celebrating? This one right here is called the airmail, but like I love to do, I've made a little twist on the classic recipe just for the proper pour. The classic air mail is just rum, lime, honey, and sparkling wine. It's kind of a similar composition to the French 75, which would be gin, lemon, sugar, and champagne. What I've done though is a twist on the classic air mail recipe, add in some fruit and a little dash of bitters. Let me show you. First of all, we have fresh pineapple, about five or six little pieces there, which I'm gonna muddle. Just pressing down here to make sure I get all that beautiful juice, fresh flavor, sweetness of the pineapple. Next up, I'm gonna add in a half ounce of fresh lime juice. Just gonna squeeze straight into the jigger so I can make sure I have exactly as much as I need. There we go, a half ounce. And then for a sweetener for this cocktail, we're gonna stick to honey as the classic recipe calls for, a half ounce of two to one honey syrup. And then, most of all, we have our base spirit, the Florida Cognac Seven Year, which is a beautiful choice for this cocktail from the uh, tropics of Nicaragua. An ounce and a half. And then finally, just before I shake, a couple of dashes of bitters. I've chosen for this drink, for these flavors, the Bitter Truth Aromatic Bitters. Just two dashes. And I'm gonna fill this up with ice and give it a good old shake. Really good hard shake to really extract those pineapple flavors. Now, first part of the cocktail serving is double strain into the flute. Now, this method takes a tad more time, but it's really worth it for the wonderful smoothness you get as a result. And this could well be a cocktail for a special occasion, so it's worth it. And now we're ready for our sparkling wine. You can use champagne, you don't have to. Just something that tastes good, nice and bubbly. And we're gonna pour this to top off the cocktail with a little bit of care and caution so it doesn't overflow. And just enough to give us a nice refreshing top to this airmail variation. And before I go, we'll give it a little garnish, something aromatic like a little mint leaf touch of contrast of color is always a great idea for your cocktails. So here you go, now you're ready to celebrate with the airmail.